just made it to the 1020 line, which means that now we're able to go downwind from here all the way to the Azores. And uh, we're gonna switch our sail plan around to be a downwind sail plan. We're a little discouraged because we uh, were under the impression that the 1020 millibar line had wind. And there's no wind. But anyway, in this really calm situation with really big swell, I'm making some burgers. But since we don't have burger buns because they get moldy really fast, I'm making rolls which will slice in half and use as burger buns. So I have the flour that's been rising, so now we're gonna make little rolls out of it. Today's been kind of a very uneventful day. So on weather maps and everything, whenever you see the 1020 millibar line, it's always, always 20 knots of wind, every time. And it always rotates clockwise around the uh, center of the high pressure. So we were like in a rush and kind of like a mad desperation to get to the 1020 line. And today we made it. The barometer said we're at 1020, and there's just no wind anywhere. of truth. Mm. Perfect in every way. So this is a real homemade burger. I made the bread. I didn't make the meat, but I made the patties. <laughs> Slaughtered the cow. Slaughtered the cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did that all out here. It was a sea cow. Well, I made French toast, so that's the good news. And the bad news is that Dill, our drifter, ripped. So after we eat, we're gonna have some repairs to do. Yeah, it's recording. So the leech line chafed on the top of the cap shrouds and came out. So now we gotta do a little repair here. If you could turn off the sump switch too when you get a chance. Uh, Thanks. For you. Careful, it's hot. Thank you. For me. Thank you. 
on at that point. You'd like to tell the camera what's going on? Okay, I made chicken tikka masala with a tikka masala sauce. Nothing very exciting. It's more exciting than today is. So, we originally went south because there were supposed to be a lot of storms and some weird weather patterns up north. And then all that cleared up, and now we're heading north. The problem is we got far enough east that now we're in the doldrums. So we're literally trying to sail across the doldrums. And if you don't know anything about sailing, you've probably still heard of the doldrums when people refer to something that's like dead and has no life to it. And that's this. It's just so lack of wind. So we're charging up the batteries with the generator and our plan is to motor and then charge, and motor and charge and motor until we finally get to wind again on the north side of the doldrums. So that's a thing. So we're heading towards Bermuda. That way if we need fuel or, or anything at all, we can always pop into there. We finally got some kind of a push here. Yeah. Got some rain, some wind. All good. Looking really good, yeah. Woo, it's slippery. I think it's gonna be a short-lived rain. <laughs> a little short-lived rain. We have just spent the four, past four days stuck in the doldrums. And we know we're in the doldrums because of the latitude. And most of all because we're doing about 20 miles a day. So our average speed was a little less than one knot. It's pretty terrible. Thankfully, we trudged due north until the air got warmer, moist, and wind picked up and started blowing out of the west. And we know that we would finally crossed over the northern border of the doldrums and we're in the westerlies. And our speed went from about a knot to about five and six knots. So, it was a real boost to our morale. Nothing like good old egg salad. A nice easy meal. here. So today was pretty much downwind the whole day. We are running both head sails set wing on wing and no main and just gliding along through the seas. It was just amazing. Heading straight for Bermuda. So while we're on this beautiful sail, Maddie made us a lovely delicious dinner of rice and beans with salchichas. Day 13. It's a full moon tonight, so bright that it outshines almost all of the stars. Everything has been slow the past many days, and it's been very stressful. We've concluded that we were in the doldrums, which means that we needed to get north as quickly as possible to find our wind. Spirits are back up since Frank is comforted by his contingency plan to get off at Bermuda, if we can't make it fast enough. Last night we had a beautiful sail. Uh, when Maddie was on watch, we were doing five and a half to six knots all night. And then when I was on watch, it slowed down to five to five and a half. And for Frank's watch, it slowed down to four knots. But uh, it was just, we were just zipping through the water. It was so nice.
Hello. <laughs> this is how we get a quick view of the weather if we're wondering if it's piped up or not. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back in your cave now. Goodbye. <laughs> So the decision has been officially made that we're going to stop over in Bermuda. So the really big low pressure that was ahead of us came, hit, strong, had lots of rain. Well, we are finally below 100 miles to get to Bermuda. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below. Right now, we are going to eat um, Frank's brother's sausage. That sounded wrong. Yeah. <laughs> sausage made by Frank's brother in Germany. Um, accompanied by all our favorite cheeses. <laughs> and, um, it is absolutely delicious.